Alright, so you've got your VOB files and you've got your DG index project file. Next, we need to create an AviSynth script. Now, what is AviSynth? Basically, it's a very powerful script-based video processing tool that's going to let us do a lot of really cool stuff to our video. It's not exactly a program that you can run, but rather you create a text file and you write commands in it that tells AviSynth what to do and then you can load this text file as a video. Here I'll show you. Go to Start, Programs, Accessories, and choose Notepad. First write MPEG to Source, just like this, and create an open and closing parentheses. This tells Avicent that we want to load a DG index project file. We just need to tell it where the project file is. So let's see where we saved it to. You can go to My Computer and browse to the folder where you've saved your stuff to so far. And find your DG index project file. It's the file that has the .d2v extension on it. Alright, and in our script here, inside the parentheses, you want to put quotation marks. And inside the quotes, we want to tell Avicent where the file is. I've got it stored in on E drive in the Millennium Actress folder. Copy that and paste it here. And the file name. Copy that. And I've just told Avicent where to find the DG index project file. Now, after that, I'm going to put a comma and space. And I'm going to write CPU equals 6. Now what this does is, this tells Avicent to clean up the video a little bit. It's going to remove some of the blocks and a little bit of the noise that's in the video source. And it's going to make it look a little better. And that's basically all that we need to do here. Now we can go to File and choose Save As. And I want to browse to the folder where everything else is stored to. Alright, here we go. And down here, Save as type, I want to change this from text documents to all files. And I'll give it a name. And then I'm going to write dot .avs. This tells it to store it as a Avicent script. And I'm going to choose Save. And as you can see, I've got an Avicent script here with the command that we just wrote. 